Hi, dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. A very warm welcome from me as always. In the previous session, we wrote the edit section for the news, but there is still a part that needs to be completed and needs a lot, let's say, moderately, a large amount of adjustment. Here, when I want to edit my news, the PK would be sent for me and I can edit the news. Now, if I add a PK that does not exist, let's say 19, that I know does not exist, if I send it, what would happen? I get an error because this says that the news has not existed and based on PK, based on the PK that we have received, first we receive the news and then we are using the same PK to edit the news. That's what happens. So what we need to do is to control this section. That is, we need to make sure in the query that the number has been entered, uh, which the number that has been entered is correct. Here at the beginning of the function that we have over here, here we write, if the news that we have uh, here, we get a len from it, I say len this query is not a get type, it is a filter. I say if this, that is this query that we have over here, uh, if opposite zero, that is, uh, we set it equal because if we set it opposite, all the codes over here would become a sub branch of it. We write if equal zero, if there wasn't any data for the number that had been added, our query was zero. Now we copy an error code and here we add it so that it would show an error. And it says the error would say news not found. That's what the error would say. The news not found error. So if it equals query, uh, this is going to happen. So I get back uh, over here and in the edit section that is here it says uh, if uh, we go back in the news list, we refresh news list now we go to the editing section. That's right, it gives an error. Why do you think that happens? Because we said the error. Come on. And it says if, let's check if we have written everything all right. It is news equals. You have forgotten to remove it. It should just be the query. We say len news dot object. We should pay attention to these. Now, as you see, my news has no problem in being edited. Again, I check in the news list. I want to check the news 15, for instance. Let's do it. Yeah, news 15. And send a PK that does not exist. And now the news not found error. And the coding error was not given. And we made sure that the PK in the code is always correct.